Hello guys, so welcome to another Kerbal Space Program video, and in this video, we're going to be attempting to do another significant, I would say, goal for any Kerbal Space Program players, and that is to reach the North Pole. So, in the previous video, we reached orbit. I, I, I actually sent a vehicle into orbit, technically multiple vehicles into orbit, and in this video, we're going to be sending a plane to the North Pole. Okay, so since we have now figured out how to orbit, we now need to think of other goals. And I have been informed by one of my viewers in the previous video, my orbiting video, that there is a North Pole on this planet, on the planet Kerbin. So as he suggested, I'm going to make a visit to the North Pole, but he recommended that I should visit the North Pole using my Concord. So I'm gonna pull up my Concord, the one that I built, the finished one. It's somewhere. Where's Concord? Concord 2.0. Boom. So this is Concord 2.0. As you can see, it's a fairly large aircraft. And this is an amazing aircraft as well. This thing flies amazingly. But I'm not gonna use this aircraft. Because you know what? I wanna bring something to the North Pole. I want to I want to launch like a little a little probe to the North Pole. So we're going to remake this as a cargo craft, as a cargo plane. So we're just going to just quickly remake it. It shouldn't take that long. A few moments later. OK, and we are on the runway. So as you can see, it is holding fine. It is holding steady. Like nothing is breaking apart. Nothing is like wiggling everything is fine okay so let's check if the cargo bay is open opening opening the base oh my goodness okay this is gonna be an issue yeah that's gonna be an issue I'm, i might turn this into a platform right here so this will be like a lower base and then yeah i'm gonna do that just and it will also like increase the structural integrity if i connect these if i connect the wing but yeah overall design looks great design is holding so let's finish it. Man, this thing looks really nice. I like it. It actually looks like a plane. Well, I'm not saying the Concorde doesn't look like a plane, the one that I built, but this looks even more plane-like. I really don't know what any of this is. So, center of mass is in the front. Center of thrust is right there. Wait, center of thrust, and then... I'm not really sure if this is good or not. I don't even know what any of this means, but we're just going to test it out. We're going to see if this actually flies. So, let's do it. Okay, and we are on the runway, so let's turn on the lights. Look at that. Man, this thing looks so nice. It it like it looks like a plane. Like this is the most plain looking plane I have built. It 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 looks like a plane. It it's quite <laughs> it's quite literally a plane. Okay, but enough talking. Let's just do a quick test flight and see if this thing can actually fly. So brakes off. Engines on. How much how much fuel do we do we even have? 40? Turn on SAS. Can we easy take off? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's turn off this. Oh wow, okay, ne oh, oh, oh my goodness gracious, it is really, really fast. I wonder how fast this thing can go. 1300, yeah, this can probably go uh, 1400, 
So a solid 100 meters per second faster than the Concorde. That's kind of cool. You can see like the plasma layer form around the wedges of the plane. Look at that. That's pretty sick. What the heck is happening right here? What in the world? It's like it's like a hologram right there. Look at that. What a weird looking plasma layer. But 1300, boom. Yeah, so right now, this thing is technically faster than the SR-71 Blackbird. Because we're going around Mach 4. Oh, please don't blow up before then. Oh no, it might blow up. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, boom. Beautiful. 1400 meters per second. Okay, I'm very worried about the fuel though. Oh, man. But so far... This plane has made me really, really proud. So I'm just going to land this in the water and we will grab a new one and we will head to the North Pole. We're gaining altitude again though, so that's good. We're still going Mach 3, so that's also good. We have more than half of our fuel left, so that's also very good. And we have a beautiful sunset right beside us, so that adds one more good thing about this flight. You know what, I feel like it would be even faster if I just straight up built a spaceship. <laughs> just like, full on build a spaceship, fly into space reach uh, reach a suborbital trajectory and just like do a re-entry over the North Pole and just land. I feel like that would be way faster than just straight up flying there in a jet. Uh, so our fuel, our fuel is looking phenomenal. We still have a little bit less than half. So we didn't really burn that much. So I'm just gonna hold this steady. I'm just gonna hold Hold this beautiful, beautiful trajectory steady. Yeah, we're making our way. We're probably a good, mm, I would say like a good minute or so from going over the mountain range. And then in about two, three minutes, we will be at the North Pole. Okay, I think we are passing the mountain range. Oh, ho, 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 snap. Wow, look at that. It's the North Pole. Whoa, that's so cool. Okay, let's let's land. Wait, is there like I wonder if there's like a like a station over here, like a Kerbal station, a research station. Cause I know there's like research stations around the planet that I can unlock. Just gonna land by the shoreline of the Arctic. The Kerbin Arctic. Can't believe it. We're in the North Pole. Right after we landed. I mean, right after we sent something into orbit, we went straight to the North Pole. Okay, let's land this. Let's land this beautiful plane with absolute perfection. And... Okay. Perfect landing. Perfect landing. Butter landing. Like butter. Like butter. Wow. So it wasn't like a graphics thing. It's actually like this. What? You know what? We really need to get out. Okay. Gears down. Don't blow up. Please do not blow up. Just sit down. There we go. That way we can... We can get in and out of the plane. There is absolutely nothing here. Whoa. Yo. Oh, that... Oh. <gasps> This just drops into like infinity. What? That's crazy. That 
That is crazy. We're literally at the edge of the world. No, I can't. I can't board it. Okay, climb. Deploy. Can I? No. No, we're stuck. We're stuck. Okay, and hopefully we can use that. Okay. And then... Now we can get inside the ship. Can I not get inside of the ship? Are you kidding? So this is not a door? What? I'm right here, bruh. It's it's actually not letting me get inside of the ship. Like I'm trying to get out, and it's not letting me. Ah. I really I need to make a more like carbon friendly aircraft. Are you kidding me? We're actually stuck at the North Pole. There's you you literally can't make this up. We're actually stuck at the North Pole. So, I will conclude this video here. I will definitely need to make a rescue attempt. We're gonna need to bring Muggsy back. Yep, we're gonna have to do it. So, I will see you guys on the next video. And hopefully, by then, I have rescued Muggsy.